and welcome to video 4. In this video we'll be focusing on the large data set for home sale prices. First let's load the required libraries. Then we're going to load the data set. We're going to attach the data set. And now let's get a look at the names of the columns. The price column will be our response variable and our home square footage will be our predictor variable. This is how you look at the first six rows of the data set. And this is how you get a basic summary um, of the data set. Now on to basic plotting to see what we have in the data set. And we can see that the histogram of prices it has a long tail and it shows that there's very few uh, very expensive homes. Now on to mean centering uh, ordinary least squares. Now first we have to get the mean the mean squared feet and after you get that you're gonna subtract that mean from every value in the home square feet column Now that you have that, we're going to make our linear model for the mean centered data. Once we do that, we can look, take a look at the output table. And let's focus on the intercept, the beta zero. Now the beta zero is on average the home price which is 277,900 for a home with an average square footage of 2260 feet squared. Now beta 1 is, is this here and if we increase the home footage let's say by 100 then this is going to increase the price by around 15,890 so you do that by multiplying this number by 100 Now we're going to, once we have our model, we're going to use that model to run some diagnostics. First, we're going to plot the observed values versus the predicted values here. As you can see, you can see a megaphone shape here. Uh, this means that that variance is non constant for the error terms. And it means that there's going to be homes that are small but high priced so it could be due to the, these just expensive neighborhoods and but there's also homes that could be large and expensive now if we go on to plotting the residuals we could also see this megaphone shape here and this also means non-constant variances for the error terms now we're going to use two techniques to test this non-constant variance of the error terms. Now these two techniques are BP and BF. Now the null hypothesis that is set when running these two tests is that the error terms are constant. This is the null. And their alternative is that the error terms are not constant. So if we run the NCV test you're going to see that the p-value is small, so we're going to reject the null. That means that the error terms are not constant. Now the other test is the BF test. So what we're going to do is we're going to split the data set into high square footage and low square footage using this code here. Also we're going to split the residuals to high and low. And next, we're going to do the difference of those residuals minus the medium of that residual. Uh, and we're going to do that here for the high price homes. And then we're going to do that also for the low price homes. We're going to do the residuals minus the medium of the low residuals. Now, once we have the two differences, we're going to put those in the t test function to run a two sample t test. 
Now if you can see, the p-value is small here, so that means we also reject the null. So that means that the error of the variance terms are not constant. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.